Local businesses are adapting to phase one reopening guidelines and that includes the traditional Memorial Day sales. Crow's Feet, a mountain collective, held a social distance sidewalk sale this weekend. Crow's Feet put up a tent in their parking lot for all their winter sports gear. The mountain is still open for a little bit longer, so now's a chance to grab some gear at a discount. There's some precautions, of course, only two people in the tent at one time and six feet apart from each other. But the new rules mean that every shopper gets individual attention from an employee. And customers seem to be happy with that situation. Uh, they've been super stoked that we've been open um, through this whole entire process and uh, being responsible in a way that uh, operating a business in a way that's responsible yet still accessible to most customers. The neighbors joined in too. Embark Fitness reopened and joined the sidewalk sale by hosting their spin classes outside. The sale will go until Monday. The unofficial start to summer will test social distancing policies in some of the nation's most popular destinations. Those eager to get outside will be heading to the beach, but this year's new rules could keep many people out. Kathy Park reports. This morning, more beaches are back open, just in time for Memorial Day, but with restrictions. In Nassau County, just outside of New York City, some beaches are limiting capacity at 50% and to residents only. There are 8 million residents in the city of New York. If a small fraction of those residents come to Nassau County to our beaches, they will inundate the beaches. New York City beaches are closed to swimming this holiday weekend, so officials in Long Island and New Jersey worry their shores will be packed with New Yorkers seeking relief after months at home. There's also fear that outsiders could bring the virus with them. This is a whole different environment, a whole different Memorial Day, a whole different world really that we're in. Some towns are reducing parking, asking social distancing ambassadors to step in when needed and requiring passes to get in. In. in Seabright, New Jersey, people waited in line to claim a spot in the sand. I was here pretty early. I was here about 7 a.m., pretty much towards the end at that point. All across the country, popular vacation destinations are reopening for the unofficial start to summer. The Grand Canyon is welcoming visitors again, but hotels and restaurants remain closed. A phase reopening at Joshua Tree National Park means access to the trails with precautions. A lot of our trails are one way trails right now. They're no longer two way loops. We're doing that so that folks will not potentially touch each other on those trails. In Indiana, Raceways got the green light to reopen.